Ready. Hi, my name is Chris Chandler. I'm one of the consultant neurosurgeons at King's College Hospital. I'm going to take you on a little tour through a neurosurgical operating theater and show you some of the things in the theater. This is a neurosurgical operating theater, and this is where we do lots of neurosurgical, different types of neurosurgical cases. Brain operations, spine operations, and there's a lot of very complex equipment, some of which uh, we use for some cases, and some of which we use for others. So the first thing is the operating table, and this is where we put the patient after they're asleep. There's a special head ring for the patient's head, there's all sorts of equipment that we can put underneath shoulders, pads, everything for the different sorts of cases. This is the anesthetic machine and this is what keeps the patient asleep while they're being operated on. And this machine is a very complex piece of equipment and it is coordinated and run by the anesthetist who is the doctor specialist who keeps you asleep during the operation. Now. We've got lights that illuminate everything, and these move around on pedestals, and they are very bright, and we can move them in every different direction, which is what we need to be able to do. These pendants are our electrical supply, lots of different machines that we have, and these pedestals are where we get all of our juice from. Then, <laughs> over here, this, is our operating microscope. And this is a really crucial bit of equipment when we operate on brain tumors particularly, where we need magnification and light. And there's a big television screen that other people in the operating theater can watch so they can see what the surgeon sees. And the surgeon sits at the eyepieces like this and looks down and there's an assistant who can look through eyepieces on the side. And it is a great machine because it moves in all different sorts of directions according to where we have to look. And this is probably our most key bit of equipment. And then over here, we've got our monitors where we have scan information which is projected for us during the operation. And here, We've got a couple of very interesting machine, machines, which are our neuro-navigation machines. And these neuro-navigation machines are like sat-nav. What they do is they allow us to navigate through the brain using the scan information. And these are wonderful pieces of equipment that make sure that we can find what we need to find. Then we've got other sorts of equipment, special equipment that we use very specifically for certain types of operation. This is like a cavitating ultrasonic aspirator that helps us take out brain tumors. And then this is a plasma knife. And then we've got all of our equipment in these various containers here. This is the nursing equipment. And as you can see, there's an awful lot of equipment that does an awful lot during the operations. Now, at the moment, this operating theater is completely empty, but when you have an operating uh, theater in full tilt, when there's an operation going on, a case happening, there are sometimes between five and 10 people in this operating theater. So everything is very tight sometimes. And at the moment, it seems like it's you know, lots of space and empty, but when there's a lot of people in here, it can be a little bit crowded. So that is, if you like, a whistle-stop tour <laughs> of an operating theater that we do neurosurgical cases in. Great. Thank you. Thank you very much.